I'm sitting here with Mia Rose, which is quite known through her own YouTube channel, and she's a musician. And she, yeah, tell me, Mia, what are you doing, and what is the story behind? Behind today or behind me? Me? Behind you. Okay. Um, well, I'm just a normal girl who was studying in a university in England, and I took uh, December holidays because I finished the first term, came back from to Portugal for some holidays. And two of my best friends gave me an idea to put a video of myself singing on YouTube just to see if people were going to like it, if it yeah. was going to have any success. But I did it as a joke. I had no idea that YouTube was such an amazing stage for um, aspiring directors, musicians, and everything. I didn't even know. I just, because to me, YouTube was like where you would go to watch funny compilation videos, like funny things. And yeah. uh, so I put my first video on December 29th, 2006. And two weeks later, because I kept on putting a video every single day, two weeks later I was I went to, to the States, signed a contract with the record album, and started to um, record my, my debut album, just like that, because of YouTube. Oh, okay, we lost some points, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it was too fast. <laughs> yeah, tell me um, in between, what happened in between, in between really? Like so the, the dirt, the in between. <laughs> um, well, I think it was because I put a video every single day, like every single day there's a new video of me, Rose. Uh, people, st like some girls could empathize with me, they're like, oh my god, I want to be a musician too, that's such a great idea, that's really cool, I like your voice, I like your style, how about you sing this, this, this. I kept on getting requests, mm -hmm. and I started to put like videos in different places in my house, and I was just very, very um, easygoing, I was like the girl next door who puts videos at home, it was, it was such an easy story to relate to, okay. that my fan base grew, and then because there was a controversy that I was, um, that I actually had a PR behind me, which is, which was never true, I did it by myself with, uh, at home with my camera, yeah. um, I, I grew on the internet, and through that, the, the America started getting interested, like, hmm, who is this girl, what is this, so, yeah. because of that. So, but okay, uh, well, there are a lot of people out there who are putting on videos on YouTube, mm -hmm. so, um, and you explain that people may be emphasized with you, mm -hmm. but also to, to get, yeah, 100,000 subscribers, or how much are it actually at the moment? Do I have? I have, a, I think I have 157,000 so, subscribers. Uh, yeah, even more. Um, there must have been happened something more. <laughs> I know. Did you Did you go around and ask for people to subscribe to you, or what did you... No, no, I went around, please subscribe. Please subscribe. No, I, no, I Did you pay someone for it? pay someone? No, I wish. It would have been much easier. Imagine if I had a PR. It would be easier. Like, they would help me publish, like, uh, publicize it and get people to um, say, like, me, Rose, check out me, Rose, or put it in different websites. I didn't have that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. I have no answer. Like, oh, it was because of this. It's because of my hair, my style. No. I just mm -hmm. think it was because the right thing at the right time. I don't know. I think that's... And did you also ask the people, your audience, why they liked you? Have you been interested?